Hello, and welcome back to Prodigy RP. So as you guys know, for a while now, we've been trying to uh, figure out where we're going to go with the gang or if we're going to join a gang or create our own. And today I finally wanted to have some final decisions with Michael and make a final decision on whether we are going to join his gang or not so uh today we're gonna be having a couple meetings this video is probably gonna be mostly meetings so uh not the most action-packed one but either way uh we're gonna go meet up with michael see what's going on and have a little bit of a talk with him figure out a decision and uh i guess we'll see where it goes either way hopefully you guys do enjoy and uh let's go have a chat yo, yo. what's going on brother oh, how's it going yeah I'll put it I'll put him in your trunk oh thank you I have some things I wanted to talk to you about, you know, some opportunities maybe for you, because I know you've been kind of like looking for your own little niche now and like shit to do. And um, we've kind of gotten to the place now where we're doing kind of everything, but there's like some small things here and there that we need to figure out. Okay. Um, so the way that you get AKs and like big guns and stuff like that is from doing Silent Bobcat. Um, now with that, um, obviously there's a lot of people, um, there's a lot of people obviously then like that are going to need them and we're going to have to stack them up and shit like that. But at the same time though, you only want to stack so much and it'll get to the point where, you know, some people want to like run around with some and have them on them all the time uh, while we keep some in storage. But, um, word around the street is somebody sold someone a 23% AK um for 100k the other day what the um because there's people that want them you know that badly people that you really? know aren't capable of doing silent bobcats um now with the way that we're gonna operate is we're gonna you know keep a, a lump sum at all times like in storage okay. uh, enough to kind of you know fuel our like war stack whenever we have to go out or we have beef but obviously as we're replenishing them and getting new ones we'll take the ones that are have been there and degrading for a bit and we'll start using some of them we'll start selling some of them etc and i'm gonna be honest with you i really think the only type of guns that are gonna be able to be dealt are scratch pistols and obviously like you know worn ak's like nobody's selling like a regular ak like fresh is 200k really and ak-12s are 240 250k so any type of like significant gun dealing is gonna probably be done through used AKs because you're not going to find that many people buying, you know, bulk, uh, you know, fresh AKs, just like, you know, oh, 600K for three. Like, it's not going to yeah, be yeah, like an yeah. all the time thing. Um, but I think, you know, 100K for 23 is a little, that's an outlier, I'm sure. Like, not many people are going to do that. Yeah, for sure. But, you know, there's definitely people that would spend, you know, 50K to have an AK for like a week or something like that too. So knowing you wanted to get into that wheelhouse, I mean, and you're a demo, the way that we're going to go about things like with our group is our demos are going to be the ones that are responsible for like setting up business deals with other groups to sell scratch pistols and worn AKs when we get to the point where we have them enough. Mm -hmm. Um. So I know I put the offer on the table for you before, but just like, I think this time around, like just letting you know that there's a little bit more to that. I also want you to know like shit's still on the table for like, you get a sensor, we'll take you on a bank right now. Like right now we have a group waiting for a Bobcat and we have another group that's waiting for a Fleeka at the same time. Um, so, and then the other thing too is like with Kat and with you as well, like Bank trucks is a big thing that we're doing as well because we're constantly doing flicas. The second we get a sensor, we're in a flica and schedules. Schedules and access codes mean bank trucks and gems that we need to, you know, that we need to get appraised now. The cat's almost there. I'm She's hearing. almost there. So having someone in the group then that can go to all these other groups and, you know, get gems appraised, do it for us. Uh, for profit, you know, kind of help specialize in that Bobcat wheelhouse, or not Bobcat, in the bank truck wheelhouse, because I'm pretty sure all you get from the back of them is gems. Okay. Uh, and I always thought it was just shit until I'm I found out high that quality, you can appraise so. them. But yeah, so if if they're in a in a vault in the back of a bank truck as opposed to you know digging it up or whatever, 
my guess is those are the ones that are are selling for like 50 grand like people are saying yeah I, I, I still think the 50k is 100 percent bullshit but maybe if you get it from there you know it's obviously it's there for a reason it's not going to be a junk one you know what i mean yeah because i think 50k is probably a stretch as well but i wouldn't be surprised at like 25 or 30. yeah well uh did your boys tell you it comes yesterday from truck. what the opal yeah, they said it was 420 yeah. bucks <laughs> There's so, no way that that's coming out of a vault and a bank truck. Exactly. You, not every bank truck that you're doing. So schedules last about a day until the paper starts to go to shit. And then access codes are about the same. And it's very rare that you're getting access codes at the same time that you're getting schedules and you're able to use them at the same time, like cohesively to get that gem in the back. So the fact that it's pretty rare and most bank trucks, I mean, everybody's cut is usually like 7K. Okay. So it would make sense that if you're you know, on a rare occasion, able to get the vault in the back and you get a gem. And then you also have somebody that's taken the time to, you know, be experienced mining and they're able to appraise things. Like it would make sense that then, you know, everybody in the group gets an extra 5k cut then from doing bank trucks. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, I mean, right now our big thing is finding people that are able to fill in all these niches and like, kind of like really step into like these roles. Um, Cause I know for me, like the way I like to do things is like, if we're going to set up a meeting, it's going to be done, right? It's not going to like with you, you know, I will throw some seeds in your trunk because you're not like another major group. You feel me? Yeah. yeah. You're, you know, you're my boy. I'm going to, I'm going to help you out. Like I'm not charging you like any I shit like that. that. But if it's a, if it's a deal where we're selling AK 47s to a group in a large quantity, you know, I want it to be done right. Exactly. I want to have, you know, I want to set the tone. I want them to know like, they're not just fucking with like random people. Like this shit is a business. Uh, at the end of the day and there's not a lot of people either or pawn shops that are taking in gems either so i kind of want that to be a thing that you know we're gonna start controlling as well mm -hmm. um and that gives something that cat can do you know it'll mean that you guys are doing bank trucks and shit too all the time you guys are getting involved with that kind of stuff uh, and i know you guys want to do shit um but just something for you to think about though man and then maybe 25 seeds so oh, somebody shit, picks your you. shit i mean you, you, got, five you got five chances. <laughs> you got five chances, brother. You got five chances. Um, and if one of those goes right, I mean, then you're just going to give yourself like 10 more chances because exactly. you get a lot of seeds back from those. So. All right. I, uh, uh, I appreciate it. And I know I've been yeah. bad at getting back to you about this. So I'll say, again, it could be tomorrow. It could be the next day. But within the next week, I'll give you a, a definite answer. Does that sound good? Yeah, man. Yeah, do your thing. I, listen, I, I know... I know you for a long time and I, I know that, you know, the way that you go about things like, you know, you got to make sure it's the right fit for you. And then obviously you got cat with you as well. Um, but one thing I will say is I'm not going to make this a place for you. Rather just tell you what we're about and what we have to provide that could be good for you mm -hmm. at the same time. Um, there's definitely, I feel like there'd be good mutual interest and you'd be getting involved with a lot of shit. Like, uh, there's a lot of shit oh that we do God. on a daily <laughs> basis. It's hey it's guys. ridiculous. Um, but yeah, man, uh, you just let me know. Yeah, I'll get and, back to uh, you soon. Yeah, do your thing, brother. All right. Well, you take care, Michael. I appreciate it as always. Right. Hell yeah. Have a good one. All right. Stay safe. Two hours later. Yeah, I got it. Yo. What's going on, brother? Um. So I just had a couple questions. Uh. Well, Kat and yeah. I have been talking. Kat, you can. Kat, you coming out? Sorry. she's hiding like a cat it's crazy she's really um, fitting the part so just a couple questions uh first of all what is your relationship with uh, havoc i know they're like your neighbors but how, how are you guys doing together um it's been really good actually so far I, to be honest we've had one meeting with them like um and it's been pretty decent uh they gave us all our the numbers they actually came to us first and uh, they told us with the way that we operate and the way that like we seem to you know move as a group that uh there was a group called goofy goobers that used to be down here and they said based off the way that like, we operate and the way like we speak and all that shit, um that uh honestly like us being here is probably in the best interest of both them and kod so i was planning to have a meeting with kod and then also like a three-way meeting as well just to uh, Make sure like everyone in Vespucci is kind of like on the same wavelength and thinking the same way. Why do you ask? I was just curious. Uh, we just have some friends with them. So just wanted to have an idea of like what your guys relationship was with them. 
Oh yeah, it's pretty good so far. Is Soul Soul's good to be here, obviously. Right? Yeah, obviously. <laughs> Hello. Um. Um. Next, yeah, it's pretty good. Okay. Okay. Uh, next thing I wanted to talk about was uh, you had talked a little bit about like say I was to join um, what my role would be so from my understanding you wanted me to deal with the weapons firearms etc uh, and deal with the businesses and the deals with that yeah would I be running that uh, kind of segment or would I be working under with someone as well so the way that we kind of look at it is everybody that is a, a demo of sorts um, obviously like with the amount of jobs that we do and the amount of reputation like we're building uh, pretty quick and like you would as well um, every demo that we have is like a, a full around like wheelhouse for demo it's not just guns or not just uh, armors or bombs like we kind of used to think it would be okay. um, like, I guess the way that we look at it is once we get a, a warehouse I'm pretty sure the way that it works is you get a gun vendor that you have to purchase and uh, the guy from the favela will come down and he'll sell you scratch pistols and stuff like that. Um, now, obviously, the people that are like in business for those are, you know, gangs that don't have their own warehouse. Uh, so the way that we kind of look at it as any AKs that we have that are starting to go bad or bigger guns, uh, along with also the scratch pistols, pretty much all our demos are going to kind of handle that business. And really, the only people that those demos will be working under is obviously like me okay. like if if you have like a question of like like should we sell to these people right now like say like we're at a war uh with someone and we know that they're you know close friends with this gang that's trying to buy a bunch of ak's you know do we really trust and believe that they're not buying them just to give them to their boys and doing the business for them so they can use our own ak's to you know shoot at us yeah uh, those kind of things but um we don't really look at it as a, like you know just one person. If on, if anything, of I course. I encourage like I encourage like I think you. I know the way that you operate, right? So for me, my big thing would kind of be to talk with you a bit about like the way that I expect uh, these business deals to go down. Um, and with that, um. Like how, in a sense, I would want you to kind of set the tone for every other demo that we have when they're doing these business deals for guns. Because I know that's something that's important to you. I've worked with you before as well. Um, and then I also have really high standards when it comes to business deals as well. So cool. it'd be something that I'd want you to work with me to kind of just have a chat with our demos to take this shit serious because there's one thing i don't want and that's you know us to sell two hundred thousand dollars worth of firearms to another group and all we're doing is throwing it in a trunk and that's it exactly okay um next question so obviously as you've known me for quite a little bit you know i have uh, quite a bit of attachment to the mask if i were to join Obviously, if we're doing anything involving the gang, I'd be wearing your guys' mask. But outside of the gang, if I'm just, you know, doing stuff with Cat, doing stuff on my own, uh, what would be kind of the etiquette for wearing different masks? So for us, uh, um, I don't. I saw the White Tiger's mask, and I see it's quite similar to that. Um, I guess my only thing would be like just make sure it doesn't uh, cause any shit with them for okay. whatever reason maybe they approach you about it and they're like why are you wearing this like i know some groups what they do is they have like one flag for like hang arounds and stuff like that and then one for like once you're blooded in uh for us though i mean you guys are just fine like the way you are we usually keep, like mostly like neutral colors and stuff like that anyway so a zebra mask honestly fits in perfectly okay. um I see Kat loves her pink. I mean, that's not really a problem either. Just the only thing I would say, if you're created with a group of ours, obviously you do see we have the hint of pink um, in our flag and in our vest. Uh, but as you know, that's more so just for the roots of the group, mm -hmm. as it's kind of taken a much different direction than it was, you know, five years ago or something like that. Um, but what I will say, though, is once you're i will say to cat if you're a if you're a part of a group that has you know hint of pink like this i have already spoke with the bustas and they said like if we did start wearing significant amounts of pink then there would probably be a problem so just for cat and your wheelhouse i'd be a little careful okay um just so it doesn't get like misconstrued or anything but i don't think it would be a problem yeah if we were in some shit or we were doing some shit where we're flagged up or 
uh, we're doing a business deal, I would probably say like, you know, just swap just so yeah, it course, doesn't get confusing. Um, but for the day to day, I, it's not really a problem. Like also you could theoretically, depending on the outfit you felt like rocking, you could do the zebra mask with just like this vest, for example. It's not like vest and mask or just mask or just vest or anything. We also have shirts and hoodies that we're doing here soon too. Oh, so. really? Okay. Yeah, so as as long as it's wrapped in some way, shape, or form, and if you want to stay low-key, you can. I mean, Dino's running around right now with... I think he's over there. I'm not sure. Uh, he's running around with, like, no flag right now while he's just, like, doing, like, some boosts and stuff like that. And uh, Tunde, he... Yeah, Dino's on the roof over there. And then Tunde, he can't wear our flag or our vest. So, I mean, we work with anything. I, I know you have some attachment to it. All right. Kat and I have thought and talked quite a bit. And after the answers to those questions, I think we're in. All right. Well, that's good <laughs> with me. I think I've talked with you mostly about it, though, Zez, but I do want to... I will say, if there's one thing... I don't know how to put this, but... Uh, I feel like the crispy that you've probably worked with before, Zez, is a little different uh, okay. than like the way I operate now. I will say you will. I I don't shut up sometimes. Uh, I know like that. If I'm That's explaining fine. things. <laughs> um, and if there's one thing though that I will say, uh, it comes from a place where like I, I have a lot of passion for this shit, and uh, I do bust my ass like on the daily. So if I do things, I want it to be done right. Exactly. Uh, and a lot of times, you know, it it just it comes from a place of passion. We kind of just do everything at the moment, but I wanted to start getting a little more structured now that we have you know, a flag and we're repping something and we're, we're somewhere where we're at now. Of course. Um, and I really do want us to like be on the same page where our demos are, you know, getting ready to, as we're starting to, we're going to hit our first silent Bobcat today. So the, the AKs are going to start coming in here soon. And we're like three, four days away from, uh, having a warehouse where we could get, you know, a gun vendor so scratch pistols are three four days away all right so if you guys go in on your phone and you look at your company manager you should now see criminal Ooh. enterprise so That's you can so see sweet. you can see where we are at on the board of all the groups we have been around and making progress for a week and a half and we are at 24. 24 damn um yeah so our goal here once we are at seven right now uh, once we get to 10, we will be getting our warehouse. Uh, once we get to 15, we'll get our weed warehouse. So uh, every bit of reputation that you guys do um, and you get, it will contribute into a pool of everyone. Uh, when we do jobs, we take five people at all times. Uh, we also, this is the block, so technically where the block is at. Who the hell is that? Is that all our people? Oh my god. My own staff uh, <laughs> so it's this parking lot right here, and then also everywhere that the Venetian covers. But uh, yeah, if you guys need anything, just let me know. All right, we have, uh, we just got Zez and Kat in the group now. Um, I do want to have a meeting though at some point that we'll have with everybody about how we're going to run the whole like, demo and like gun stuff that i was talking about earlier but um we've got two more peeps Alrighty, so i know this episode was mostly just a couple meetings but nevertheless it was definitely a big step in uh the story for zez so i uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy this thing is gonna be about it and we did end up changing up our fit a little bit we got the nice rebels masks now uh now as we were talking about with them we we're not gonna wear the mask at all times but whenever we're doing stuff with the gang doing stuff related to the gang doing so if any of the kind of deals or anything that we are going to be doing of course we are going to be dressed up in the rebels stuff now i believe he said he's also getting some sweatshirts and shirts in soon and when he gets that we'll probably primarily wear our our zebra mask along with one of the rebels t-shirts or something like that but uh, obviously for big gang events and big gang things we will be wearing of course the full rebels mask but uh we're finally joined a gang it only took us two three months but we have finally eventually joined one so uh hopefully you guys are excited again there's gonna be a lot of content involved with this for sure uh if you do want to see kind of our first full day as a rebel make sure to check out the stream i'm going to be streaming starting at 4 p.m est maybe a little bit earlier we'll see uh over at twitch.tv forward slash zez games so make sure to go check that out we're going to be doing uh, our first day as being a rebel so we're going to see how that goes 
but uh, I think that's gonna be about it. As this has finally joined the gang, it took us long enough, but uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode of us finally, finally joining one. And if you did, as always, make sure to leave a like on this video. And if you want to, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.